Next one. Uh, well, here's one of our guests. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna butcher his name if I try. So, but uh, you're you're he's been coming frequently recently. So thank you. Um, you're always welcome. Can we verify two Google My Business listings in the same location by putting the same address and phone number on the listing, but changing the name to you better be able to rank for another keyword? I wouldn't do that. Uh, for example, let's say client's current listing is Plumber Bronx, which he is ranking well for, but he also does gutter cleaning. So can't we send same location with all in, same info and just put name gutter cleaning Bronx? Thanks. Uh, you know, you may be able to get away with it, but I don't know how long that would last. And it's likely that you would end up getting, um, you know, terminate like the listings terminated for spam, uh, especially because if somebody else reports you, which is very likely to happen. So I, I personally, I wouldn't do that. What I would do is just go set up a second, another address, you know, um, just set up another, uh, another address, get a unique phone number, a unique web address. I mean, you know, it, you could even set up, and what I say by unique web address, you could even use the same domain as what the original Google My Business listing is. Just set up a separate page and use the specific page as the website address, right? That's unique. So in other words, typically for Google My Business listings, people, when they list their website, they're going to use their home page URL. Usually that's the case. It's not always the case, but usually the case. So my point is you can have a, like let's say gutter cleaning is a service that the same company provides. Well, you could have a gutter cleaning page on the site. So let's say it's domain.com slash gutter cleaning. You could use that now as the landing page URL or the, you know, the website connected to the Google My Business profile. That's a unique URL, right? It's, it's a unique URL because it's not the same as the homepage. It's not just domain.com. It's domain.com forward slash gutter cleaning. So that counts as being unique. Get a unique phone number, which could just be a tr uh, tracking number, right? A, 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 a virtual phone number. There's a dime a dozen out there. There's plenty of sources you can get those from. And then set up a separate um, physical address, right? Which you can do using the post office still. It still works. Uh, and you can do that. And that way you have a unique name, unique address, um, and unique phone number as well as a unique web address. And those three things, that would, that would give you the ability to do this without having to worry about getting it shut down for spam. Any comments, guys? Let's sum it up perfectly. Right. 